What's up guys? So today I'm going to be making a teriyaki uh, pasta with zucchini and chicken. So instead of the pasta, I'm going to use zucchini noodles or zoodles. Uh, so yeah, let's get right to it. So I'm just going to fillet my chicken breast. You can see I've already done one to my left. And just like this. So I'm just cutting them into strips, just like this. I fillet my chicken breasts a lot, um, just because it makes the chicken go a lot further. I went from having three pieces of chicken to six. So now that I cut it up, I'm just going to take any pieces that are super long like this and just cut them in half. A lot of you guys are probably wondering why I'm using this bread knife to cut my meat, but I'm telling you this is the best knife you can use to cut your raw meat. It like slices right through it, and um, yeah, it just makes it super easy. Now I'm gonna season the chicken with garlic powder. Then I'm gonna hit it with some sea salt. And you guys know I don't really use measurements for my seasonings. I just season generously. Don't be scared of the seasonings. Then I'm going to use this Asia seasoning that I have. And just hit it with that. So now I'm just going to put it in a bowl and set it in the fridge so that I can make my zoodles. So I'm putting the zucchini in my spiral cutter and um, this is what it's gonna look like when it makes the noodles. You don't have to have one of these to do this. You can use a peeler and you'll just have thicker, more fettuccine-like noodles. So this is the aftermath. I used five zucchini and two squash. And so now I'm gonna stick these in the colander and salt them and let them sit for about 20 minutes. I'm gonna cook the chicken while I do that. So it's in the colander ready to be salted. And you wanna salt it pretty generously. So as you can see, I'm cooking the chicken while the zoodles sit. So now that the chicken is cooked, I'm going to make the sauce and I'm going to do a third cup of soy sauce. I'm also going to do a third cup of teriyaki sauce. I'm going to do about five tablespoons of honey. And then I'm gonna do a third cup of pineapple juice. And about half a tablespoon of minced garlic. The last thing I'm gonna add is optional. You don't have to have this, but um, I just like it. It's sesame seeds. And I'm just gonna sprinkle however many shakes I want of that. Let's get together. I'm gonna just let this sauce heat up and I'm gonna add in a cornstarch and water mixture just to thicken the sauce up a bit. So right now I'm cooking about 
a half a can of pineapple chunks because I'm just going to add these into um, the doodles once they're like almost done. Cooking. So this is how it looks when it's all finished. Um, it doesn't take very long to cook this stuff, just a few minutes and then you are just ready to serve it. I added a little bit of um, chopped green onions that I had in my fridge just for extra flavor and garnish. So yeah, that's it. So I just put it in this big pasta bowl that I have and I just added these lemon slices just to make it pretty. Um, so yeah, that's it. It's pretty easy and it tastes delicious. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one.